G'day, Steve Walters from Walters Fencing here. Today we're going to have a look at our contractor model wire winder. There are a few couple of new features, so let's start with those. We have an anti-vibration tang, which also stops the faceplate from vibrating open. And we have elongated these two tabs, so they're makes it instead of trying to line all eight up at the same time you just find the two long ones and that helps you guide it on. So to take the face plate off you have to depress the anti-vibration tang, release the over center catch and that comes off, pull your wire off and then find those two high points. So what I do is the two long ones are here in the vertical plane so I just line the guide up underneath that, pull it in and locked, ready to go again. We have our spring loaded throat. So you feed the wire through there to start pulling in around the, the winder. And what it does, it pr provides some drag on the wire so that when you stop turning it, the wire doesn't go all loose and explode off the coil. So I hear you asking, you've got a contractor model and you've got a farm model, what's the difference? Is it just this cage? Well, it's <laughs> essentially yes! <laughs> but wait, there's more. This is the main difference. <clears throat> so the farm model wire winder and the contractor model wire winder, exactly the same floor plan, same frame, same winder, same motor, but the contractor model is designed to wind up wire from the winder. So the operator stands here and operates the winder. Hence the cage. Um, the cage is open on the far side, but when you're here operating the winder, you can't be impacted by that far side. The farm model wire winder, which you can see in other videos of ours, is designed to be operated from the tractor seat or the, the bobcat seat. So that's, that's the difference between the two winders. Before I crank it up and show you how it runs, this comes with a three-point linkage mounting and also uh, some fork slides. So you can put it on the front of your front end or attach to the three-point linkage. All right, let's crank her up. This is just a hydraulic power pack that we use to check all the winders that we make to make sure everything's working properly. So the spool valve has a couple of different positions. We've got winding in, we've got unwinding, and we've also got a, a float position, which allows you to unroll off the tractor or the equipment as you go out across the paddock. Another feature of the contractor model wire winder uh, and also the farm model because they're the same internally is this uh, internal diameter is the same size as the standard roll of wire so if you are recovering good wire that you want to reuse then yeah run the wire in tie it all up we've got these two cutouts top and bottom so you can actually get a cable tie or a wire around the coil of wire you've put in and then you can reuse those on a wire spinner. Contractor model wire winder. Um, nice bit of kit. It's been working really solidly for our, our clients over these last eight years. Um, yeah, nice bit of gear. <laughs> 